hey guys welcome back to my channel this is me frank stan and today i'll be showing you guys how you can install the anki add-on called close overlapper and this is a very famous uh, anki add-on and you have probably heard about it a lot and this is a very great add-on it helps you incre in increase the efficiency of your anki cards and also the quality of your anki cards as well and uh, i'll be showing you how to install it um, via the github method because uh, I don't think it's uh, no longer supported in the official Anki add-on page so therefore we'll have to use this method and just before I get started I'll let you know that I'm on a Linux operating system and this main installation procedure should be much different for you uh, if you are on Linux as well but if you are a Windows or Mac OS user then you will probably have to uh, work around this method because there will be some slight differences in the installation method um, because uh, the operating systems vary quite uh, a lot so you uh, have to get, once you get the general idea of how I'm installing it and if you are pretty familiar with Python using the command line JIT pip then you should be probably able to install it without any errors at all so uh, you will need to be a bit familiar uh, if you're on Windows or Mac OS but if you're on uh, if you're on Linux then you should be probably able to uh, follow the step-by-step -step guide and install it now This add-on will work for both Anki 2 and Anki 2.1 So basically it will work for uh, all the Anki users out there and uh, We're using this add-on uh, That's been created by the author Glutanimate who's pretty famous all around We know that he has a lot of add-ons that he creates for us and thank you so much Glutanimate for uh, uh, making these great add-ons so I'll link his uh, YouTube channel down in the description he's also active on GitHub and reddit as well and we'll also be using his pip package called as Anki add-on builder to build this all right so uh, the Windows and Mac OS users you can just uh, google around on how to install the required packages that will be installing throughout this video so let's get right into it so I want you to uh, open up the terminal and just a second let me clear it up all right so now once that's done now what i want you to do is uh install jit and i'm not going to be showing that here you should be able to just google it up for your respective distro and just see how you can install uh jit but once you have installed it then we should be good to go so first of all what i'm going to do is install the required packages and then later on we'll use the jit so first i'll install uh, a package called as PyQtify Dev Tools, which is required by AAB, which is the Anki Add-on Builder package. So, to in order to install this, you'll have to type in sudo apt install PyQtify Dev Tools. So, make sure you just type in this uh, in the exact same manner. Don't make any typos. So, once you've done this, press Enter. and it should ask you for your password since you've typed in sudo but uh, after you typed in your password and pressed enter it should just work fine and it might even ask you for a yes or no prompt then you can just press y or just print, press enter now in order to verify that we have in installed this you can just type in dpkg s hyphen s and then pyqt5 dev and there we go it shows all of the information about this and this just shows us that uh, we've installed it properly and you might want to run this before installing it just to check if you have already installed it but if you just run this sudo apt install it won't do you any harm if you have already installed it it will just show you that it's been installed already so now let's clear the screen now the next thing that I want you to do is check your Python version now on Linux the way you do it is you cd into user you can just actually type in python version and this shows you the default python version that's been used by the system mine is python 2.7 which was pre-installed with the distro that is ubuntu for my for my uh, linux it might be different for you but the main idea here is to see if it's python 2 or python 3 now there i also have python 3.8 as well and the way you check how many python packages you have is you need to cd into user bin and then ls 
grep inside uh, quotation marks python and press enter and you can see i have python 2.7 and python 3 by python 3.8 and python 3 and python 2 as well so if you have python 2 and python 3 as well then you can just probably use pip for python 2 or pip 3 for python 3 as well so you should be able to uh, run both uh, without any problems but if you are on python 2 then run pip but if you are on python 3 then run pip 3 I'll be running pip3 here so let's cd out and then clear so now I want you to type in pip3 install aab press enter I'll install aab now for python2 it will be pip install aab it's the exact same command just don't include 3 alright so now the way you check this is pip show AAB and it will show you the information about the required package and you can once again run this before installing to check if you have installed but again if you have already installed and you run this command it will do you, do you no harm so that's fine for python 2 like I said it's pip install AAB and after installing it's it's pip show AAB alright so now once we have done that now let's finally uh, clone the JIT so basically the way you want to do it is JIT clone and copy this URL and the link to this URL will be down in my description below and to paste it you press Control shift v and at the end add a dot git or dot jit and you press enter and it should clone now on Linux systems uh, by default it clones into the home slash user directory and the directory that is created is called CD overlapper you can manually check it by uh, opening your default file manager minus dolphin your might be different so then you can just CD close overlapper again make sure to make no typos now now we are in the directory and now we will run the build command first let's clear clear the screen so I'll also link this github page just in case if you're not able to install it with the uh, pip uh, this Anki add-on builder uh, and for Windows and Mac OS users like I said all the required pa packages you should probably able to configure it by googling it uh, checking out forums on how you should install it the one the thing that matters is that you install it and these commands won't run on your terminal uh, in Windows because of uh, the path won't be set so if even if you run just python it might not it might not work you might have to configure the path so that's uh, kind of complicated so uh, you might want to learn a little bit of the command line terminal especially paths and how to configure paths etc and install the required packages that is pyqtify dev tools and aab so now once we are in the directory close overlapper then I want you to type AAB build and it will build the package now you might get an error here uh, saying that it requires P PYUIC5 or PYRCC5 now these packages are the ones that come in with PYQT5 dev tools which means that it was not installed properly you might want to completely remove it clean it and then reinstall it you can just do that by uh, sudo apt sudo apt remove py qt qt5 dev tools and uh, then later on running sudo uh, sudo apt auto remove to remove any uh, extra leftover dependencies of that package but uh, hoping that everything goes well now once you have installed it I want you to open up the uh, file manager and go into the directory where it's installed let's close overlapper and there should be another directory called build and here you will see close overlapper version 4. Point alpha dot anki add-on that's what's important make sure it's dot anki add-on if not then uh, it might not have built properly you might have to rerun it again so now once that is done 
uh, then make sure you remember this path because we will need it while installing it so the way you install it is you go to Anki tools and then add-ons I've already installed it so basically what you want to do is install from file and then you go to the directory where it is close the overlapper build and you should see this here and you open it and just install it and you should install fine make sure to restart Anki after uh, you have done installing it and it should work fine okay so now the way you use it is let's add a card okay so let's uh, make sure you select close overlapping here if it's not visible then maybe it was not installed properly make sure to check those steps again and see if all the packages have been installed correctly so let's just type in a sentence um, this is a sample sentence and this is the word that is going to be hidden and we will also hide this word this word uh, let's call it word 2 as well okay so let's say this is some sentence that you want to uh, add to your Anki add-on sorry Anki card and let's say you have two words to hide that is this is the okay just a second this is the word right so basically you press Control shift c that's the shortcut for uh, adding a close overlap so now you want to remove these curly braces and replace them with square braces square brackets on both the sides and do the same for the other word as well and make sure that it's c2 not c1 so it should be uh, just a second it should be c2 and add these uh, square brackets at the ends all right and at the beginning type in o so it should be oc1 this is important as well okay so now from there go to text phone and just copy paste this and on text 2 as well so now once you have done that then um, what I want you to do is remove this so it shouldn't be this it should be just word that's the original word that we want to close and then you do just do a regular close control shift C and remove the clo close for this so it should be word 2 there we go and on the second one you make the first word regular with the second word a uh, regular close and the number should be C2 that is the original number over here so just a second no. make sure the number is C2 and once you have done that go down and you will see full here add both the words word and then word 2 and just add them as regular closes but both of them should be the last closest number and the last closest number here is C2 so both of them should be just C2 and this is how you do it for a paragraph you can just uh, look around uh, it should be on Glute Animates uh, YouTube channel there should be a tutorial on how to do it for paragraph lists etc go to here and the context before I usually like to set it to zero you don't have to do that and once this is done then make sure that this isn't changed see that was automatically changed uh, that's not an issue you can just change it back to C2 just a second and there we go change it both to C2 and now we should be able to add it and then preview it um, just a second 
that's uh, a bug on Ubuntu that causes cave to close and that's why you saw that little glitch over there we should be able to browse and close overlapper I think I added it here okay let's preview takes a bit of time there we go so you can see now both are hidden the word and word 2 and if you press this only word 1 is revealed ever as word 2 is still hidden and the next round word 1 should be in word 2 should be shown and in the last one both of them should be shown and that's how it works by default um, so yeah that was it for the video so hope you guys enjoyed it and subscribe for more gaming uh, content and to install uh, to watch more uh, tutorials on Linux uh, and uh, that should be it for this video uh, I'll see you guys in the next one and this is me Frank Stan signing out see you guys later